starting in Gulf Shores, Alabama last May, where the FSU beach volleyball team took major strides in the program, reaching the NCAA championship final in the most amazing way. Then freshman Madison Fitzpatrick and sophomore Francesca Gonzalez saved the day in a final elimination game versus the University of Hawaii. So I actually felt a lot of pressure. People were saying that there, there was no pressure and that, you know, we're all good. We're all good beach volleyball players. But I felt a lot of pressure. I just didn't want to disappoint anyone. And being so young, I was less experienced. But having it all come down to my court, I felt the years of me playing beach volleyball before college all come into that moment, and I felt very experienced. Last summer, the FSU women's softball team won their first national championship in the fast pitch era by defeating the Washington Huskies. Redshirt Jr. and ACC Pitcher of the Year Megan King had a sensational game on the biggest stage and helped lead the Seminoles' comeback from a three-run deficit. I think the best part about winning a national championship is bringing it back to Florida State as a women's sport. Uh, it's something that's never been done here and just to bring it back for the coaches, for the ACC, for the, the fans of Florida State, it was just an incredible experience. It was only a couple months after when the FSU soccer team clinched their second national championship in program history in a hard-fought final versus UNC. The moment of magic came in the 60th minute when Dana Castellanos found Dallas Dorsey with a pinpoint accuracy pass to give FSU the 1-0 victory and bragging rights over the whole country. I'd say the best part about winning the national championship is getting to say that you're the best in the country because there's all the polls and everything, but at the end of it all, it's who actually gets the result and we did. These women have given FSU historic moments that will never be forgotten. And for that, we thank them. I'm Luis Pozualdo for Seminole Sports Magazine.